welcome to the NAMSA Histology Lab. NAMSA offers both paraffin and plastic histology processing to provide a comprehensive pathology analysis of your study. Paraffin processing is primarily used for the tissue that does not contain test or control article. However, we're able to cut some softer materials such as silicone and microspheres. Plastic processing is utilized when the test article cannot be removed without harming the surrounding tissue. Some examples of device materials that require plastic processing are plastic polymers, stainless steel, nitinol, or other hard alloys. Both paraffin and plastic processing require fixation of the tissue to halt cell autolysis and to preserve tissues permanently in a lifelike state. Once fixed, the water contained in the tissue is replaced with either paraffin wax or a plastic polymer. Let's take a look at the paraffin workflow first. Paraffin processing is fully automated on a tissue processor and takes between 5 and 24 hours depending on the size of the tissue sample. An embedding mold is chosen and the tissue is embedded in paraffin wax. The paraffin block is cut on a microtome using a disposable blade at a thickness of 4 to 6 microns, which is 10 times thinner than the width of a human hair. The glass microscope slides containing the tissue sections are heated in an oven at 60 degrees centigrade to melt the wax so the tissue adheres to the slides. The paraffin slides are now ready for staining. We'll get into more staining detail later in the video. Plastic Processing Unlike paraffin, plastic processing is a combination of automation on a tissue processor and manual processing. Step 1 is alcohol dehydration, which takes between 2 and 11 hours on the tissue processor, depending on the size of the device and surrounding tissue. The remaining steps are performed manually and take 3 to 5 days to complete, depending on the size of the device and surrounding tissue. The samples are further dehydrated with acetone and then infiltrated with increasing percentages of acetone resin solutions, beginning with a 50% resin to acetone mixture and ending with 100% resin. The most common resin we use is spur epoxy resin. This process is accelerated with the use of a shaker plate and vacuum oven. Once infiltration of the spur resin is complete, an appropriate size mold is chosen to embed the sample. The sample is arranged in the mold with 100% spur epoxy resin. Trapped air is removed and the mold is placed in a 60 degree centigrade oven for 24 to 72 hours to harden. Small embedded samples are now made into blocks using an isomet low speed saw with a diamond blade. An X-ray cabinet can be used to assist with determining cut lines. The blocks are either cut on a microtome, these are called thin section plastics and are cut at 5 microns, or they are ground on an exact grinder system to a thickness of 40 to 70 microns. We will go more in depth with the exact samples later. Thin section plastic is performed when the device can be sectioned using a tungsten carbide blade. Examples of materials that can be thin sectioned are stainless steel, platinum, and some plastic polymers. The blocks are cut on a microtome at 5 microns. Slides are placed into a slide press in a 60 degree centigrade oven for 48 hours to ensure cut sections adhere to the slides. Once removed from the press, the slides are now ready to stain. Exact Grinding System The exact grinding system is used for devices whose material composition does not allow for thin sectioning on a microtome. Examples are devices containing hard alloys such as cobalt chromium, nitinol, or multiple components made of varying materials. Large embedded samples are now made into blocks using an exact band saw with a diamond blade. An X-ray cabinet can be used to assist with determining cut lines. Weights and oscillation assist with cutting through the block. Blocks are attached to base slides, which we call half sandwiches. A final slide is glued to the other side of the block, and we call this a hole sandwich. 
The final slide, along with a 300 micron thick sample, is cut off using the exact bandsaw. Again, weights and oscillation assist with cutting through the block. Multiple measurements are taken throughout the process using a micrometer, along with math calculations, in order to determine the thickness of the final section or sample. The final slide is ground to the desired final thickness using various grits of grinding paper. Once the desired thickness of approximately 70 microns or less is achieved, the scratches are removed using polishing paper and the slide is ready for staining. Staining. An automated hematoxylin and eosin, h &E stain, is performed on both paraffin and plastic slides on the majority of study samples. We offer 22 different chemical stains for paraffin and thin section plastic. Most commonly used are pentachrome to demonstrate mucin, fibrin, elastic fibers, muscle, and collagen, Bassan's trichrome to differentiate between collagen and smooth muscle, Luxel Fast Blue to stain myelin, Bielschowski to demonstrate neurofibrils, axons, dendrites, neurofibrillary tangles, and senile plaques, Congo Red to identify amyloid, and Gram to detect bacteria. We offer four different chemical stains on our ground section plastic slides. The most commonly used stain is pentachrome. A new addition to our staining menu is immunohistochemistry, IHC. We currently offer smooth muscle actin, GFAP, microglia, insulin, glucagon, and von Willebrand factor on five different animal species. We will continue to grow our menu of stains based off of client demand. Slide Scanning Once slides are created, they may be scanned for digital or physical delivery. Whole slide scanning of both paraffin and plastic slides is performed at a magnification of either 20x or 40x. Read-only disks of these images can be provided to the client for remote viewing. Frozen Tissue Sectioning If study samples cannot be exposed to formalin or other fixatives, tissue without devices can be frozen, cut on a cryostat, and stained with H&E. This is currently an infrequent process. Additional stains can be developed based off of client request. To learn more about all of the services NAMSA provides, contact us at namsa.com.